advisories alert customers to two scenarios that will help manage their environment. First, if a new CPU patch is available and not applied, customers will see a visual indicator. Second, if an environment has a scaling policy, Cloud Manager will provide a middle-tier scaling recommendation that can be incorporated into the existing policy. A non-zero number inside the green dot in the upper right corner indicates the presence of one or more advisories. Use the Recommendations page to enable advisories for all environments in your Cloud Manager instance. When the Infrastructure CPU option is enabled, Cloud Manager highlights that an environment has a CPU patch available from subscribed channels in the repository. The Mid-Tier Scaling recommendation applies to environments that have auto-scaling enabled and forecasting data present. Cloud Manager provides a weekly recommendation for middle-tier resources. Use this recommendation to update an existing scaling policy or create a new one. Use tags to select the environments that have recommendations. The feature works only for environments with tags. If recommendations are enabled globally, you can also control them at the environment level. When Cloud Manager has an advisory for an environment, recommendation alerts appear on the environment cards. Select the alert icon to see the list of available recommendations. The Recommendations page shows all available recommendations for that environment. Use the filter to show only a certain type or those for a certain environment. The details for the Infrastructure CPU recommendation list the software versions included. When a recommendation is available for the Infrastructure CPU, you can apply the update immediately or create a policy to apply it later. Click Create Policy. You can create a policy with a policy action schedule, which will apply the infrastructure CPUs at a specific date and time. If you don't set up a policy action schedule, the policy will apply the infrastructure CPUs immediately upon download. Click OK to go to the Add Policy page. An infrastructure CPU policy is created for a specific PeopleTools release, such as PeopleTools 859 or 861. If a policy already exists, Cloud Manager adds the environment name to the existing policy. This policy may or may not have recurrence for the policy action. Save the page. Cloud Manager prompts you to apply the infrastructure CPU, since the policy created will be applicable for the next infrastructure CPU download. Click OK. Click Apply to begin applying the infrastructure CPU and confirm. The environment status shows that the infrastructure CPU is being applied. Click the Recommendation Alert icon to see the second recommendation for mid-tier scaling. Click Details to see a graph forecast of nodes required over the period of a week. The Create Policy action is available from the recommendation for mid-tier. You can create a new policy or update an existing policy. Because the policy already exists in this example, Cloud Manager will update the day-wise node requirement of the policy. View the policy recommendation for mid-tier scaling. A mid-tier scaling policy is created for a specific environment. If a policy already exists, Cloud Manager auto-updates the existing forecast data with new forecast data. This policy needs to be recurring, so the user needs to select the recurrence under Schedule or choose their custom recurrence. After you finish working with the recommendations, the Recommendations Alerts counter goes to zero. This completes our demonstration of the Environment Advisories feature. Governance Framework now enables you to include your own custom script or REST API as a policy. Custom actions are supported for environment and repository artifact policy objects and scheduled or event-based policy types. To create the policy, select Invoke Handler as the policy action. To take advantage of this feature, you first define a PeopleCode application class, which we'll review later. Enter the name here. This parameter is required. 
You can also enter any necessary input in JSON format. This is an optional parameter. When you hover the cursor over the information icon for the policy action, you see a description of the people code application class. To create the necessary people code, install a PeopleSoft client on Windows and use Application Designer. This is a sample people code application class that sends email notifications when the policy runs. The class extends from the class ECLCM Governance Custom Action Handler, which is provided by Cloud Manager. The execute method is defined in the Custom Action Handler application class. Every people code application class that you create for custom policies must implement the execute method. The content from the policy action parameter page is passed as input with this parameter. The description that we saw when hovering over the information icon is defined with this parameter. The custom code includes instructions to send email and contents for the email body. For this custom action, there are additional steps required to enable email notifications and specify the email recipient. You can create a sequence of policy actions that combine predefined actions with custom actions. You can also write logic that takes the output of one action and passes it as input to the next. On Policy Monitor, you can see that the policy has succeeded. The policy action output includes the information as specified in the Sample People Code application class. When the policy is invoked, it sends an email notification to the user specified. This completes our demonstration of the Enabling Custom Actions within Policy Manager Enhancement. Cloud Manager 17 delivers new customization options for usernames while provisioning an environment, adding a new node, creating an environment template, and performing a lift and shift operation. This is a significant improvement from previous Cloud Manager images where only default users were allowed in Linux and Windows instances. You can now create environments using custom inputs for various usernames and user groups in the OS Users and Groups field. The option is available in Database Tier, Middle Tier, and Search Stack in the General Settings. The Search Stack doesn't include a user group in the OS Users and Groups field. The option for customizing usernames and user groups is available while adding a node to the environment as well. If you want to use a remote login user other than OPC, you must ensure that there is a Linux or Windows image on the Cloud Manager settings page that already contains the new user. The login user must have administrative privileges on Windows and pseudo privileges on Linux. When adding a node to a Windows instance, you can now modify the Windows administrator username. The customization option is available when you create an environment template. Additionally, this customization option is also available while performing a lift and shift operation. Starting with Cloud Manager 17, full tier instances are supported while importing environments. You can import custom environments with customized instance usernames and unique PeopleSoft paths. Options to create custom usernames are now available for full tier, middle tier, PeopleSoft client, search stack, and Windows client instances. When you input the OCID of the corresponding node, Cloud Manager displays the locations of various PeopleSoft paths corresponding to it. All the fields except the custom path are mandatory. Review the paths and make any corrections to match the paths on the environment. This completes the support for custom usernames and locations feature description. Cloud Manager now offers search support using OpenSearch in addition to Elasticsearch. This support is available when you provision an environment with PeopleTools version 85921 and higher patches or PeopleTools 8607 and higher patches. Lower patches of 859 and 860 will be limited to Elasticsearch. Additionally, the term OpenSearch dashboards is used in these releases in place of Kibana. 
for provisioning managed environments with People Tools 861 and higher releases, Cloud Manager supports only OpenSearch and OpenSearch dashboards. When you provision a multi tier environment, you can select OpenSearch as the search provider if the People Tools release supports the selection. When you add a new search node to a managed environment, Cloud Manager allows you to select OpenSearch as the search provider if the PeopleSoft image used for the environment contains a PeopleTools version that supports OpenSearch. When you apply a PeopleTools patch update, Cloud Manager provides the option to choose OpenSearch as the search provider if the target patch version is compatible with OpenSearch. This is applicable in the case of PeopleTools upgrade as well. Cloud Manager supports OpenSearch during clone, refresh, backup, and restore actions on managed environments. This completes the adding support for OpenSearch provisioning enhancement description. Cloud Manager adds to the functionality of PeopleTools lifecycle management automation, enabling customers to keep their PeopleSoft update images always current and synchronized with their environments. The previous Cloud Manager image introduced the ability for users to create an event-driven policy to automatically provision a PUM environment when a new PeopleSoft update image is downloaded into the repository. New policy actions will be delivered in a Cloud Manager patch after the general availability date. Start by defining a PUM environment as the old PUM source. Then migrate the metadata from the old PUM environment to the newly provisioned PUM environment. This includes automatically synchronizing information such as package definitions, database definitions, repositories, and PUM automated update schedules from one update image to the next. If you have a target environment, you can automatically define and upload the target details on the current PUM source. This policy action will help you to always have the target details available on the new PUM environment. You also have the option to delete the old PUM source after the metadata has been migrated. When used with the provision PUM policy action, you can create a policy that keeps your PUM source current with no manual intervention. This feature requires update images to be delivered on PeopleTools 861, which will be available later in 2024. This completes the self-managed update images feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of this Cloud Manager update. For more information and other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.